Greetings friends, this is Brumbeck, and today I'm going to be reviewing Shining Resonance Refrain. And I've been hired by Darkside of Gaming to do a written review, and it's quite lengthy. If you'd like to see the full written review, please click the link in the description below, or just keep watching this video review, and I will be keeping it to five minutes per usual because we're all busy. So let's just see what is this Shining Resonance Refrain all about. As you can see on the screen, this is a JRPG with very anime influences, and it's party-based, you explore environments. This is actually a re-release of a 2014 PlayStation 3 game that was only released in Japan. As such, the graphics and the visuals are not super great, but they're decent. The game has a very musical theme, with your characters wielding instruments, they are also weapons. My heart is fulfilled. And some of the music in the game is actually pretty good, like this background music right now. But mostly what you do in this game is talk. There's a ton of dialogue, and the good news is most of it's very well voice acted. So that's a huge plus. Please forgive him, your highness. I regret that you had to witness him in such a pathetic state. No need for apology. I can certainly sympathize with the pain of losing years of devoted effort. But make no mistake, dozens of hours in this game will be you watching characters pop up in the screen and talk back and forth to each other. There's not many actual cutscenes, it's mostly just dialogue. So get ready for dozens of hours of this. Phew, that was a lot, wasn't it? But why play this game? I mean, okay, there's tons of talking. It's kind of an old, visually dated game. You know, there's many JRPGs you could choose from. Why bother with Shining Resonance Refrain? Really, what sets this game apart is the heart connection you have with your characters. This game is all about the power of friendship, and that may sound cheesy at first, but actually the game does such a great job of building your team and building your connections with your team. And you have things in the game called bonds and traits, and that has gameplay effects, but mostly what matters is the heart connection you form with your friends. I actually grew to care about these characters by the time I was done with the game. I wanted to know more about them. They're my friends, we're in battle together, and we're going on this whole journey together. When I think about her having to stay trapped in Gailrit's prison for the rest of her life, I can't take it. Maybe this wouldn't have meant as much if it happened before you rescued me. But I can't just let this go. Not now that I know about the outside world. Now I know how it feels to have friends and support. Mm. I want to share that joy with Marion. I want to save Marion, like Sonia saved me. So please. Of course. Feel free to ask me anything, and I will answer to the best of my ability. And as I invested more time with the game, I grew even more attached to the characters. And you can have night events where you chat with your party members either in town at night or by the campfire outside in the wilderness. And you get to know them, and they share information about themselves, and eventually they open up, and you really get to know them as friends. I'm not sure I'll be able to hold your interest, but I shall do my best. Wait, is Kirika... nervous? Uh... well then... Um... Yeah, but uh... <laughs> I wasn't expecting something like this to be what finally makes you panic. Okay, so the heart connection is there with your party members, and even the villains, some of them, have interesting motives as you play through the lengthy campaign. But in this last minute, let's get to the bad stuff. The gameplay itself is simply not very good. It's outdated, it's clunky, it's tedious. It's tedious, did I mention that? So what are the main issues? The skill abilities take far too long to wind up. It's hard to target enemies. You can turn into a dragon, which is awesome, but takes forever to target an enemy and just simply attack them. And then the camera spins around wildly. And the AI is so stupid, your party members often will not revive each other, even though they're set to heal each other. Read the full written review for all the details, but the basic problem is the gameplay is just outdated and many other JRPGs do it so much better. To conclude, as I say in my written review, this is not an easy game to love, but sometimes if you put the effort into it, it can be a path to blessings, and this game does have amazing characters and amazing character growth, and you might come to love these characters. But there's no denying the gameplay is simply outdated, the AI stinks, there's bad enemy scaling, there's so much backtracking, and so much tedium. You're gonna need a lot of patience, but you might just come to love these characters and have a truly memorable experience. I'm so happy to have met you. I just... I wanted you to know that. So there we have it. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching my review. Be sure to click on over to the full written review if you want more information. Bye-bye, everybody. Love you.